Welcome back, book buddies. Let's open day nine. Mysterio's Revenge. Day nine. Mysterio's Revenge. Spider-Man swung past the Empire State Building. He was on his way to the Daily Bugle. Peter Parker was running late for work, and the only thing that could get him there in time were his web shooters. Great, Peter said to himself, as he fired another web. If I'm late for work again, Mr. Jameson's going to explode. Just then, an explosion of green and purple smoke erupted from the top floor of the Daily Bugle building. Yikes, I didn't think he'd literally explode, Spidey said. Better get in there to see if anyone needs help. Landing on the side of the building, Spider-Man crawled up the wall and looked through the window into the smoky office. That's when he heard a booming voice and his spider sense started to tingle. Now that I have your attention, the bizarre voice began, you will all witness the total destruction of the Daily Bugle. Spider-Man recognised that voice. It was his enemy, Mysterio, the master of illusion. The menacing Mysterio was holding J. Joan Jameson by the tie. No one can help you now, Jameson. Not even Spider-Man, the villain hissed. That's my cue, said Spidey, as he launched himself at the villain. The two tumbled to the ground, locked in combat. As the hero and villain continued to fight, Jameson crawled to the exit. He jiggled the doorknob frantically, but all the door had been locked from the outside. They were trapped inside the newsroom. It's the amazing Spider-Man, Mysterio began. You're right on time to meet your doom. Mysterio raised his arms and the newsroom filled with thick green smoke. The villain disappeared into the swirling fog right before everyone's eyes. Meet my doom, said Spider-Man. What do you mean by that? Mysterio's voice echoed eerily across the room. Last time I saw you, Jemison, you promised that you could deliver Spider-Man to me, the villain cried. Instead, I was defeated by him, and now you will all pay the price. With that, Mysterio appeared through the smoke and lunged at Jemison once more. Spider-Man knew they had to act fast. With unbelievable strength and speed, he kicked Mysterio in the chest and fired a web at Jemison, sticking him to the wall. Sorry to disappoint you, Mysterio, but, my, but I don't plan to meet my doom for at least another 70 years, said Spidey. Spider-Man stood above the trapped Mysterio and removed the villain's glass helmet. But Spidey was shocked at the person he saw beneath the mask. It was himself, Peter Parker. Parker, the old Jemison, your Mysterio? Only Spider-Man knew the villain wasn't Peter Parker. This must have been the disguise Mysterio was going to use in order to escape, thought Spidey. But how am I going to save everyone in the Daily Bugle and prove that Mysterio isn't really me? By which I mean Peter, not Spider-Man. While all these wild thoughts ran through Spidey's mind, the villain leapt forwards and attacked. Oh, I hit hard, thought Spidey, as he tried to pick himself up off the floor. Mysterio delivered another hard blow. I can't believe I'm beating myself up. Spider-Man was dazed, but he rolled across the smoky room. With Mysterio distracted by his precious helmet, Spidey looked around the office and realised the only person who wasn't there was himself, the real Peter Parker. That's why Mysterio used him for disguise, and that gave the wall crawler an idea. Spidey crawled along the wall, hidden by smoke. He grabbed a hoodie off the desk, zipped it up to cover his suit, then removed his mask. Now it looked like the real Peter Parker was there. Hey guys, sorry I'm late, said Peter. Mysterio turned, enraged. No, how did you get in? Two Parkers, said Jameson, confused. Next there will be two Spider-Men. 
Not if I have anything to say about it, cried Mysterio. The appearance of the real Peter Parker had worked. While everyone was distracted, Peter ducked beneath the smoke and put his mask back on and charged at Mysterio. Firing both web shooters again and again, the amazing Spider-Man captured Mysterio in a giant spider web. Then, with a crash, the police finally broke into the newsroom, just as Spider-Man jumped out the nearest window. Here you go, boys, Spidey said to the cops as he swung away. One gift wrapped supervillain, courtesy of you-know-who. A few minutes later, the real Peter Parker entered the newsroom. Jameson, who was still stuck to the side of the wall, looked down at him. Parker, he said, you're late. Peter sighed. It was just another day at the office for Peter Parker and your friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. The end. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.